Every time I have reviewed a OnePlus phone, it always turns out the same. Great specs, but a flawed device in ways that keeps it from reaching superstar status. That pattern changes with the OnePlus Open, the company's first attempt at a foldable phone. The OnePlus Open should be a wake-up call for everyone. After spending nearly three weeks capturing portrait photos with the OnePlus Open's hassle that cameras and becoming acquainted with its open canvas multitasking, I have come to appreciate how it achieves so much for a first-generation foldable. For instance, it took Samsung effectively five tries to incorporate a gapless hinge design as it finally did with the Galaxy Z Fold 5. The OnePlus Open does that in all fill soup. I don't want to spill all the beans yet on how much this foldable has left an impression on me, but as you will watch my OnePlus Open review, it's the dark horse I didn't expect to like so much. Sure, there are still areas where the Open could improve, but this first effort has closed the gap in such a substantial way for notebook-style foldable phones. Not only is the OnePlus Open a best foldable phone contender, but it's also one of the best phones released this year as well. The OnePlus Open cost US$1700, which is $100 less than both the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Google Pixel Fold. I was really hoping for a deeper discount considering how OnePlus phones have historically undercut the competition by a much larger margin. Now, what's strange in all of this is the trade-in offer that OnePlus is offering with the Open. This offer will give buyers a US$200 credit when they trade in any phone in any condition, so your two-decade-old Nokia candy bar phone still has value if it's been hiding in storage somewhere. OnePlus says that this offer will continue throughout the product's life cycle, making it effectively US$1500 to buy, which is a tremendous value all things considered. Pre-orders for the OnePlus Open are available right now with other special offers available through Amazon and Best Buy. General availability will begin on October 26 with two color options to choose from, Emerald Dusk or Voyager Black. There's only a single 512GB storage option for the OnePlus Open that's accompanied by a whooping 16GB of RAM. In comparison, the same 512GB storage options for the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Pixel Fold costs US$1,919. This is a generous amount of storage and drives the point of its more bang for the buck value. Even though the Open is still chunkier than a traditional slate, OnePlus does a fantastic job with the phone's design. It's not as wide as the Pixel Fold when it's closed, nor is it uncharacteristically narrow like the Z Fold 5, so you could say it has that just right size. When it's opened, however, the OnePlus Open has the largest footprint in a foldable I have tested, but that's not much of a concern given its excellent bit quality. For starters, it's skinnier than both its main rival at a 0.22 inches thin, which is backed up more with its 8.43 ounce weight. This thin and light construction doesn't make it flimsy either, which is the most striking thing about the design because it hands down has the best hinge design in a notebook style foldable. Its flexion hinge design serves up the satisfying snap gesture whenever I close it shut while also minimizing the crease down the display. In fact, it's a lot less noticeable or as deep as the creases I have seen with the Pixel Fold and Z Fold 5. And while the emerald green color of the phone exemplifies its premium look, there's only one complaint I have about its design. There's a huge camera hump on the back even bigger than the OnePlus 11. I do like how it makes the phone an authority figure when it comes to capturing photos, but the sharper edges of the camera's bezel often makes it odd to hold in the hand, making it more top-heavy too. Due to how the upper portion is thicker than the bottom, it's almost impossible to type on the keyboard while it's laid flat on its back. Despite this, I still prefer the Open's design, even the Pixel Fold and Z Fold 5, including the fact that it also features an IPX4 rating. It's less than the IPX8 rating of those aforementioned foldables, but some water resistance protection is better than none at all.
Ever since OnePlus partnered with Hasselblad to upgrade its cameras, the modules on the backs of its phones have gotten bigger and bigger. And while it's a bit of an eyesore, the Open's huge camera bump isn't without reason as it holds a large 1x1.43-inch 64MP Lightyear T808 main sensor from Sony with a new pixel architecture designed to increase the amount of light it can capture for even better night time photos. OnePlus claims it delivers the best image quality of any foldable available today. While I wouldn't go quite that far, its peaks are relatively close to what you can capture with a pixel fold. Photos are sharp and detailed. The one shortcomings is that OnePlus low light processing isn't quite as good as Google's night sight. But compared to the Z Fold 5, the Open's peak often had better dynamic range and less exaggerated sharpening. You also get a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera that can also shoot macros and a 64 megapixel telephoto with a 3x optical zoom that goes up to a 6x lossless magnification. Once again, while that 3x zoom is every bit a match for the Z Fold 5's 3x telephoto cam, its 6x lossless just isn't quite as sharp as the 5x optical lens on the Pixel Fold. But that's not a big surprise because there still isn't a true replacement for high quality glass. OnePlus does more right than wrong with its fast foldable, which I have to admit, it's a satisfying package filled with surprises. Considering that this is the company's first attempt at a foldable phone, OnePlus hit the mark with a premium design that feels and looks more polished than the Pixel Fold and Galaxy Z Fold 5. There is no denying that OnePlus locked down a premium design, but I think it's even more important to stress how it perfected the multitasking experience with Open Canvas. Fundamentally, it is very similar to what Google and Samsung implements in its foldables, but the extra step of how the screen dynamically adopts to fit three apps simultaneously is impressive. The OnePlus Open is not without its shortcomings like the camera's weak low light performance, but I think the combination of devices, lower price, long battery life, fast recharge time and premium design makes up a lot of ground for it. On top of that, it also helps when OnePlus is offering its special US$200 trading credit for the life of the phone, which effectively keeps the cost at US$1500. There is no other notebook-style foldable phone that impressed me more this year than this one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.